have a system in place that's that's different from just a dormitory setting where dormitory is more just a place where you sleep but this is residence life it has its own culture it has its own vibe there are three different kinds of residence halls on campus the the first one the, the one I'm familiar with because that's where I'm an RD is um, a community style we call it a community style residence hall where there's individual rooms um, there's common lounges for the, the all the residents to enjoy and share another style of building is the suites those are structured a little different. There's no community bathroom setting. There's um, two rooms that generally share a bathroom. The third style of building is an apartment building. Um, those are reserved for upperclassmen and it's just what it says. It's an apartment, a bunch of apartments together. So you have a common living room area with a kitchen, separate bedroom, separate bathroom. It's a little bit more independent um, than the suites and even, even more independent than that community style building. Each building uh, it's comprised of a resident director and a resident advisor staff and each building has a resident director and they are kind of in charge of the whole dorm, overseeing that people are okay, things are running smoothly. You could walk down a hallway and I might see, you know, a couple of people sitting over here having a fairly intense conversation, you know, about something. Um, I could walk down one floor and there's a floor fellowship going on. You know, so a bunch of people kind of gathered in a common area, either doing a Bible study or praying or doing something like that. Um, I could walk onto another floor and just, people are just getting goofy. <laughs> you know, a little stress reliever, stress break, because those need to happen. But we like goofy. Uh, Nothing wrong We do that. like goofy. <laughs> we really like goofy. Yeah. I've, I've seen the, the impact that community has upon residents and just individuals. Uh, everything from friends rejoicing with one another when they get engaged to uh, friends grieving with one another when they lose a loved one. One of the things as a resident director that I confess I feared the most stepping into this job a number of years ago was, was confrontation with some of those difficult issues. But I no longer fear those things. I really, I don't wish them on anyone, but I enjoy walking through them because those are also the times where I see the most growth. I just got an email from someone who graduated and she was just rejoicing because she goes, Cammy, all those things that I used to fear so much, you will never believe what God has done. And I can't believe I can sit and talk freely, as freely as I did about those things this year. Like if you had asked me two years ago if I could have done that, I never could have done that. But that was because she had an RA that cared about her. She had a floor that rallied around her. She had good friends that were willing to say hard things and she was able to, to really listen. And so it's great. You know, we, we often like short-term results. In a lot of these kinds of situations, it's, it's more the long-term where you see the results.